Hello again. Let's start to look at what ME is. Myalgic encephalopathy is defined as a severe, chronic, neurological illness which has a huge impact on tens of thousands of people in the UK who have it. Up to a quarter of a million people are thought to have a diagnosable chronic fatigue syndrome. That's as many as one out of every 250 people, around twice the number of people who have MS, multiple sclerosis. ME affects millions of people around the world of all ages, even young children sometimes, and it's the biggest cause of long-term absence from school in the UK. It's most common in people between their mid-teens and their forties though, and around twice as many women have it as men. ME is a complex illness, and it's not very well understood yet. I'll talk about these things a little bit more later, but research shows that it is a neurological illness. The brain and the central nervous system is affected in measurable physical ways, like inflammation and low blood flow. That the autonomic nervous system doesn't work properly, the body's endocrine system and all the hormones are affected, especially the so-called hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. Muscles are affected and cannot produce energy properly at a cell level. The heart and circulation are affected with low blood pressure and a very low volume of oxygenated blood flow around the body. The immune system doesn't work properly. The lymphatic system is affected and often the liver and the digestive system and the psychological system is often affected. ME can be one of the most seriously debilitating illnesses there is. A lot of people who have ME have so little energy and are so ill that they have to spend most of their day, every day, sitting or lying down, doing nothing. In severe cases, they are literally bedbound and not able even to lift a pen to write or a comb to do their hair. Some can't even speak, may not be able to swallow food and may need to be tube fed. Others who are diagnosed with ME or chronic fatigue are still working or at school but with reduced hours. The symptoms can vary a lot from day to day, often without any warning or explanation, which can make planning ahead or going to work really difficult, or even meeting up with friends. In a week you might have a couple of really bad days, two or three average days, and a couple of days where you can actually do a little bit more, but still nowhere near as much as normal. Saying that people with ME are just tired all the time doesn't even begin to cut it. Being ill with ME means feeling as wretchedly ill and as torturously, uselessly, feebly exhausted as it is humanly possible to feel virtually all the time. It means physically not being able to do even a fraction of all the things you so desperately want to do. It means your brain and your memory and all your thinking is like it's lost in some thick fog which you just can't shake off. It means you're sleeping loads but you're still not feeling refreshed when you wake up. It means being painfully oversensitive to everything and I mean everything. Having ME can make you feel as ill as someone who's got AIDS or someone who's on chemotherapy and that it can be as debilitating as having a stroke or having MS. The exhaustion with ME is like the whole body's battery doesn't work properly. Whatever you do, it can only ever charge up to a fraction of being fully charged and it takes far longer than normal to recharge even up to that level. And every time you do anything, it gets used up far more quickly than normal. So someone with ME would have to ration their energy, balancing out activities that use up a bit more energy against time when they're on standby, maybe chatting to a friend or watching TV, and when they're actually resting to try and recharge their battery. And it would all get worse if they'd just come down with another cold, or if the weather had just changed, or if there's any stress, or 101 other things that can affect someone with ME. From my own experience, when my ME was bad, a whole day's high energy activities on a good day might be getting up and dressed, one five minute walk, cooking lunch and probably having to rest halfway through, two or three 15 minute sessions of light housework, like dusting or washing up, playing the piano for 15 minutes and checking emails for 10 minutes. My low energy activities might be half an hour of reading and chatting to a friend on the phone for up to an hour. The whole rest of the day, all I could do would be to lie down or sit down, perhaps with a radio or TV on quietly and physically I couldn't even run 20 metres without feeling unbearably ill for two days afterwards. But on top of all that exhaustion, there's a whole load of other really unpleasant and debilitating symptoms that people with ME can often have, although of course they do vary from person to person. I'll talk about them next time.